Hi, and welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Alejandro Rogers, and today we're gonna to be taking a close look at what it is Generative AI, XMX Engines, and B580, uh, also known as Battlemage. And today with us, we have Bob. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Hey, man, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks so much for being here with us. And for those people who don't know what Generative AI is, can you give us a little example, a little explanation of, yeah. of what it is? Generative AI is this really new, exciting area of compute that allows you to generate content from text prompts using a large model, a large AI model. So you can generate fantastic images, things that you could only imagine, as well as images that would look like production photography. You can also edit images and enhance them, and then you can engage in something like a chatbot. Oh, that's great. And how are we using Generative AI on our, on our ARC products and also on our B-series uh, GPUs? Yeah, absolutely. So first off, Intel wants to make AI on PC a whole lot easier. So what we're doing is we're enabling these workloads to run on something like a B580 to leverage our XE cores and XMX engines. Oh, that's great. And so what about developers, right? Because this kind of have to go hand in hand, hardware yeah. and software. So what are we doing for developers to make it a little bit easier? Yeah, so the good news about that is the developers have made part of this easier for us because by and large, they have decided that PyTorch is the AI framework of choice, both for training and inferencing, which allows you to run a lot of these AI models. So we've developed something called the Intel extensions for PyTorch. So you add that plus PyTorch, and we're able to run all of these things on an Intel Arc GPU. That is great, and you have to do many changes to the code in order to do that, in order to take advantage of it? Yeah, you do have to do what I would call minimal code changes. So let's take a look at this here. So um, this is code that's taken directly from Hugging Face, and you can see where it says CUDA there in yellow, that's where it's gonna target a CUDA device. This is the exact same code, and it's that change right there where we changed CUDA to XPU. So as long as you're using our libraries, it's a minimal code change. Wow, that's pretty, yeah, just, just one more, and then you got it yeah, there. There you go. Okay, and for the end users, how are we making this a little bit easier for them? Uh, so one thing that we're making easier is essentially all the applications that developers are interested in running on their own PC that do generative AI, things like Automatic 11.11, Comfy UI, these are super popular. So they're now available to end users um, because we've done this. And we're taking it one step further. Uh, we've got our Intel extensions for PyTorch that is now being upstream to PyTorch. So uh, essentially, you won't even need our libraries anymore. Essentially, you're using PyTorch, you're able to run it on an Intel Arc GPU. That sounds amazing, that's pretty cool. I mean, I can't wait to start playing with that. And for me, being as an end user, is there anything changes that you guys have done in the help out? Yeah, I think we can make that a whole lot simpler as well. So um, if you're looking at something like Automatic 11.11 or Comfy UI, in order to install those, you're usually using developer tools in order to get them on, and you're using a command line interface to get them going. And then even when you get into the application, there are all these like dials knobs and switches and in terms like schedulers and CFG, it can be very confusing and intimidating. So we're making this a whole lot easier for End users. Okay, so I guess this is when AI Playground comes That's in. That's right, it's where AI Playground comes into play. And so for AI Playground, it's simple to install, and essentially all you have to do is type a prompt, hit generate, and then images will come through very quickly. And we can see it actually working on a B580 right here. And not just on the image side, the same thing on the language side. So uh, all you do is you type a question, and out comes an answer. And you can even search and summarize content on your own PC. Wow, this is great. This is a lot faster and very easy for users to, to do. And what so we talk about uh, the 580. Is there anything else new that it comes now that we have the B580 coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, there is. It's coming out with the B-series GPUs as AI Playground 2.0. So we're taking AI Playground to the next level. So I did talk a little bit about Comfy UI, and it's a very popular tool out there. It has something called workflow. So here's a, an example of a workflow here that we've got, and it's a virtual dressing room where I just take information like a background image, a pose, in garments, and I can assemble those just by describing what I want. So you can imagine somebody uh, doing an e-commerce site would really like to do something like this, but it's kind of complicated to do. I'll show you one more, and this is CAD pre-visualization. This is another thing that Comfy UI can do, is take things like simple diagrams, sketches, or wireframes, and then turn them into photographic images, allowing for pre-visualization of architecture. This is also done in Comfy UI, a little bit complicated to put together. So the new thing is we've got Comfy UI in AI Playground 2.0, so you can run workflows like that directly within AI Playground. That's awesome, Bob. Thank you so much. Learned a lot today. Sure thing, man. And now I really want to check out a demo that we have for everybody. Uh, let's come into demo land. 
Okay, so now we're here in demo land and we were talking about a little bit earlier uh, about Comfy UI. And mm -hmm. I can see here that we have a GUI with Comfy UI and it looks very complex. Tell me a little bit more what's going on here. Yeah, sure. Uh, this is Comfy UI. It's one of the most popular stable diffusion web UI from GitHub. Well, you, you can see all those nodes are connected to each other. You have to, well, for a general user, they will have to know, oh, what nodes do I need to connect to or what models do I need to download? Those are usually really complex. Um, so in AI Playground 2.0, we actually have Comfy UI integrated as a backend, which allows us to add curated workflows so that users don't have to worry about connecting all those nodes or learning how to uh, set, set those things up in order to experiment with the latest models. Oh, that, that's pretty cool, because so you can actually get to play and work with the model, mm -hmm. but in a, in a more friendlier way, interactive way, so for people that don't know that much. So yep. that's what we're doing here with the new AI Playground. Yes, AI Playground, AI Make Easy with Intel Graphics. OK, so now you're going to go and generate the image that was generated in on the Comfy UI. And we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to use the AI pl Playground to do that. Yep, yeah. So as you can see here, we can uh, select the Flux.1 workflow, and then select the resolution, click Generate. Uh, let me open up Task Manager as well. OK, so now we have here Task Manager on the right. Mm -hmm. And we can actually see where it says Compute. That's where the XMX engines are actually helping create uh, this new image. Correct, yes. Yep. There we go. Yep. There we go. That's awesome. So AI Playground also has a lot of the bunch of different features that we have there, right? But we mm -hmm. have actually covered those on, on other videos. So if you guys are interested in uh, seeing all these other features, there's some other videos that we have in our Intel Tech uh, YouTube channel. So you go go there and check this out. And Lee, thank you so much for learning a lot. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. And have a great day. Yeah, you too.